Kafa family. This is Josh Kara of Kara Films. Kafais, not Cole. In the same, uh, she was walking up on the sidewalk, right? It can go either way. By him opening up to you and telling you they want you to drop a dime, you go back and tell old boy, guess what they do? They hire somebody to kill you. See how that shit go? Realistically, when they go to talking crazy, hey man, how you want to make 50 Gs? All you got to do is tell me where old boy is going to be. You start getting away. You're like, okay, okay. He dedicated. If you sit there and listen to him, and you asking like, what's in it for me? Shit like that. He rolling down the dice telling you, I'm going to tell you right now. I done already told you too much. So you need to go ahead and make this happen. So I'm going to have to come after you. See, that's where that's going. So the thing is, when they get to talking you crazy, you need to bounce and say, I into this. Don't let him spill everything out because he's going to figure out he, he's getting ba- baiting you in and you know too much. So either or, either you're going to deliver or they're going to get you. That's how this shit goes. And most of the time, they just drop it down. I'm going to tell you the worst enemy to a dude once he start making money and making new friends, women. Because for some reason, dudes will see a chick as a non-threat. And realistically, the woman is the one that's going to set you up. You're going to be sitting there thinking, oh, yeah, I got this girl coming by. She cool. And she's going to fan her dudes in. They're going to gun your ass down and take everything they want. I just saw this on the ring.com, man. Me and my wife both saw it. Okay. And basically, this chick act like she didn't have no phone. She had her goons uh, on the in the same. Uh, she was walking up on the sidewalk, right? The goons was in the back because you couldn't see everything. You could see the immediate sidewalk if you walked up some, but they was hanging by the trees. You couldn't see out that far. So she knocking on the door, saying, "Hey, uh," and you know what the dude did? Dude opened up the door because it was a high, fair skinned chick with long hair. And men are weak. They're visual. What he should have did is like, who this? Um, I'm, I'm, I don't have a phone. I'm trying to find. Bitch, get off my door. That's it. Worst case scenario, she hit your ring or break a window. But that, I'm saying, they're going to leave you alone. Because they can feel, oh, I don't know what he got in there. You see what I'm talking about? He saw it was a female. I'm not making this up. This is on a ring.com. You might be able to catch it. If you look hard enough, because if you go ring dot com, sometimes the videos will show up through Google. But I'm just making a point. He saw this chick as no threat. He opened up his whole door when she was talking. She was acting like she was scratching her head, but she was telling the goons to come on. They bum rushed his ass. She stepped back. Three dudes came in the house. Guys, you have to get more smart. Just because a chick got big breasts and long hair, y'all fall for that shit every time. And I, I just, I just like, if that was a dude, would you have opened it? You gotta, you gotta look at a woman just like a man right now. They setting you up, and I don't care if she old. I don't care if she got gray hair, she got a cane, and she's in that baby. Can you just call now on what I, I had some trouble? You need to go ahead and get to the service station the best way you can. I, 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 I ain't calling nobody. I'm dying out here with down. Now I told you. Get your old ass off my porch. See, I guess y'all probably saying that's kind of cold. That's not cold. That's not cold. We look 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 what's happening today, man. People use children as bait. You think cause you on a cane and your voice tremble and you got great hair and you talk like this, baby, can you help me? Hell no. Uh uh-uh. uh. Well, I'm gonna die out here with bitch. I guess you gonna die. You keep knocking on my door, you may go sooner. Now, I told your ass, walk. Watch her ass start walking calmly because she's faking. They got so many costumes today, man. They got a lot of young women dressing up like old ladies. Y'all can't fall for this shit. I don't give a shit if they on the ground bleeding. Calling, I ain't calling no damn body because I'm a hell of this. All right, they're going to see your ass on the porch tomorrow. Man, please. The reason I'm, I'm talking this way, y'all, because y'all got to get used to protecting yourself. You guys keep calling 911 as if they're going to protect you. Cops are getting ready to sit this shit out. They're going to keep coming and saving you. I've been saying this for a long time. That's that We're getting in that time where cops are not going to come save you. You know, if you're a person that really look for 911, <clears throat> you gonna have a problem, man. 
you're going to have a serious problem. Because you're going to sit back and go, I tell you what, um, you don't get off my porch, I'm going to call the cops. Okay, go ahead. You can call the cops as much as you want. But here's the thing. The cops are not going to save y'all, man. I just want you to understand. The cops can't save you. So y'all sitting there going, I'm going to call the cops. How many times have you saw this? I saw a dude, it was like a black and white people, right? <clears throat> it looked like they were entertainment. They looked like they were just trying to do a job. They was really trying to shoot a video and they had a permit. Here come Karen. I swear this is like clockwork. What are you guys doing here? Oh my God. Do that guy know you in front of his house? I I I see you got a permit, but I want to know what the permit covers. I don't know what it is for white women. Y'all are losing it. I mean, I'm telling you straight from the hip, white women are losing it and and the white the older men and older women are losing their damn minds. I've never seen this much Ken and Karen in my life. They come out even on each other. I, I, what, what you doing with that camera? Oh my God. I, I'm just, I'm freaking out right now. I mean, people who live by that oath, I'm going to call the cops. These people getting ready to start committing suicide because when there's no longer 911, what you going to do? I mean, I'm just being real. The shit might sound funny, but I'm, I'm keeping it 100. Like, when things really start to get bad, Right. And you can no longer call a cop. You know, cops to a lot of people are like the gladiators. It's like I can call the cops and I feel so safe. You ever heard that before? Like there's so many cops out here. I feel safe. I heard that a lot. I feel safe. Well, what happens when the cops don't come no more? Yeah, uh, Latanya, I saw that. I saw that they didn't even uh, have a warrant and usually a bombing do not have the right to kick down the door. You see, and they, ha- they might have had even the wrong house, but this is where we at. But see, let me just let me fast forward because these bail bombing are joke. They don't have no power at all. They're not even they're not even cops. They're not even security guards. They're just somebody trying to collect. But when there's bail bonds, it's no longer available there's no one to go get so bells bomb ain't gonna stop quickly they're not gonna be going to people's houses no more because i'm gonna tell you the first people are gonna feel the bullets the bell bomb when you knock on somebody doing tomorrow we're here to uh uh george george is not here and uh we need to collect this bond so we need to come in either way we're coming in when you put a few of them down bullet to the head they'll never do that again see i've been telling people y'all ain't saw the worst of american people now, I'm going to tell you something. This is going to be white folk shit. Now, now, watch. I'm calling it before it happened. This is white folk shit. These bell bonds and whoever the fuck they want to call themselves, they are going to start knocking on doors, demanding they come and start kicking doors. The only reason they continue to do the dumb shit because they ain't felt no lead. When they start dying and, and meeting bullets, they will retire. As long as they think they have fear in you, they'll keep kicking in your door and they don't have a right to do shit. So this is where we at. Okay. These so-called fake ass cops that's looking for people, they are getting ready to, especially in the South, they are going to meet their match. I'm calling it before it happened because we know in the South. It's going to be stand your ground. When you start knocking on somebody though and kicking it, you can have the right to kill the ass, period. So when you, when, when a few bells hit, when they die, when they get killed brutally, watch how many start turning into vests. That's how it is. Cops are only tough when you are in fear.